how's it going? Graphics Gear here. Today I wanted to talk about the proper way to install our new NES inlays onto a controller. Today I'm going to be demonstrating the installation using a controller shell provided by Retromodding, but this process should be the same if you're using an OEM controller shell or one provided by some other third party. Alright, now let's zoom in and get a closer look at what we're doing. If you hastily install the sticker from left to right, you're going to find that it kind of bubbles up and it's not going to lay flat across the whole controller, especially in this area here around the A and B buttons. Instead, what you're going to want to do is install the inlay from right to left. Follow the top edge, leave plenty of room around the D-pad, and the sticker should lay flat. Alright, what I'm going to do now is grab one of our glossy inlays and install it the incorrect way. I'm going to demonstrate what you're trying to avoid and show you in the reflection what the problems actually are. Okay, one more time. We're going like this from left to right. I can use the reflection in this glossy sticker to help highlight the problem. The problem's down here next to the A and B buttons. You can see in the reflection that there's sort of a curve to it, and this is because the inlay is a hard plastic and it's gotten hung up on this square part of the controller shell. Alright, let's grab a fresh inlay and let me show you the right way to start doing this. My first suggestion is to not completely remove the backing. If you kind of pull it to the side down here to the corner and just leave a little bit to grip on above the A and B buttons, you're going to have a lot more control of your installation. Now, as I said before, the best way to install is from right to left, but I actually find it easier to rotate the controller so the D-pad is at the top and installing it from the bottom to the top. Start by lining up the bottom left corner of the A button and then work the inlay upwards until you hit about the middle. While you're doing this, use that little piece of the backing we left behind to help pull the sticker to the right. Don't pull too hard, you just want to make sure that the bottom edges of all the buttons and openings align just right. This is already looking a lot better. I'm just going to use my thumb to kind of smooth out this one bump here in the corner, and everything should be just fine. You can kind of work your nail in along the edge of the plastic, but be really careful not to scratch the sticker. I do want to draw attention to this area here between the B and the A buttons. There's a warp in the plastic that's caused by the cutting process. Unfortunately, there was no way for me to avoid this in manufacturing. Now keep in mind, this is not going to affect your enjoyment of it. It won't affect gameplay at all. Otherwise, everything will lay flat. And that's it for this video. If you found it useful, please hit that like button and consider subscribing. I'll be posting some more videos in the coming days, such as one for making your own braided cables. I'm glad you joined me today. That's it for this video, but before we go, let's take a preview of some of the stickers we'll be entering the shop very soon.